Hi guys, what's going on? My name is Harry and welcome already to another Roblox Studio video. Today guys, I'm going to be teaching you how to make a horror game inside of Roblox Studio. Now, Roblox horror games are really big right now and they're really fun to play, really fun to make. But it's really great things to do, so in this video I'm going to be teaching you how to make one really quickly, really easily. Uh, maybe building, scripting and, you know, adding a bit more things in there as well. So, make sure you stay to the end and yeah, let's get right into this video. Okay, to start with guys, I'm going to do a bit of a build. So we're going to be making our sort of corridor. Now I want to make a corridor horror game. So you walk along a corridor and there's going to be a couple of jump scares along the way. Now what we're going to use for this is these two PBR, well not PBR materials, just materials here which have textures in them, okay? And then the part itself has the wood material equipped here. Okay, if you want to have access to these, here is the actual texture ID if you just want to copy this. Copy all this information over if you want to get this. Um, and yeah, if not, you can just use the default for lots of materials. But I think this gives a really nice effect. Now, I'm going to be going for an old effect. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the model tab. And we're going to actually, no, sorry, plugins. We're going to go to the rig builder. And we're going to add in a default block rig. Because what this allows us to do is kind of show and give a reference for what we're going to build. So if we're going to place that there. I'm going to make my quarry cord corridor going along here. I kind of want it to be a bit tight so players sort of feel a bit enclosed. We can just drag this along here and then drag this right along just like this. Okay, that is looking kind of nice actually. I'm liking that. We're then going to use this as the little walls, this kind of, I don't know, flowery wallpaper. So we're going to decrease this in size a bit more. Actually, no, we keep it like this because we don't like bleeding. I'm going to bring this right across just like this. Um, from there, we're going to then bring it up. And just like that, we have our corridor. I kind of like this, maybe a bit. Here's a bit smaller. Just like that, we're going to go ahead and get this uh, Control D to duplicate and drag right across here, and then get this one in the middle, Control D, and bring it right up to the top, just like that. And there we have our corridor. Now, this lighting here, we're going to probably need to fix. So we're going to go to the lighting here, and we're going to get rid of all of this, uh, all these effects. And already, it's looking a bit, a bit worse. Um, what we're then going to do is I'm going to actually go ahead and make this nice. We're going to plugins, uh, celestial body dragon. I'm going to put the moon up somewhere. I'm going to probably put the moon straight up there. Now, if you don't have a celestial body dragger, I highly recommend getting it because if not, you can kind of go down here and change the time of day. If you can do, uh, I guess, something like, I don't know, just what I've done here is, I guess it doesn't even have a time of day anymore for some reason. But here, yeah, the time of day is 2300, which is, you know, 11 o'clock at night sorry it took me some time um, but yeah what we're going to do is we're going to change the outdoor ambience here I'm going to make this a lot darker um, we're also going to make the ambience darker not too dark though just like maybe we're gonna give it a little bit of a purpley colour because with a bit of this it actually gives a really really nice kind of evil effect so give it more like that and give it a right dark alright nice and then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and add something called atmosphere in what atmosphere does is it's similar to fog um, for here we're just going to add sky just like that and what that does is it allows atmosphere in with atmosphere we're then going to increase the density a bit more so we get a bit more of a dense look just like this okay that looks a lot nicer a lot foggier you can't really see much which is what we kind of want here we're also going to add a uh, color correction in and we're going to kind of color correct them seeing as bring the uh, contrast down quite a bit um, oops, sorry saturation wrong one saturation down quite a bit and it gives a really kind of dark and dismal effect. I'm actually going to get rid of the purple and I'm going to kind of just go for a normal grey like colour, uh, maybe that. Because colours really we don't really want to affect too much here. I'm going to change the lighting again to future down here because what future does is gives a really nice effect for indoor lighting and most of our things going to be indoor. Um, so then we're going to add a little lighting node so we're going to add a, we're not going to add a normal part, we're going to go to model and we're going to add ourselves a sphere in and in that sphere we're then going to add a point light so add and then point light just like this, and look at that already. That is looking very, very nice for a good bit of lighting. So we're gonna put this up to there. Um, so yeah, every, that's looking really nice. The reflections are very, very nice as well. So what we're gonna do, we are actually now going to... We are now going to actually colour these things here, so we're going to actually right click this and hold down shift and click both of these. I want to make this kind of a weirdy ready colour, just sort of like that, maybe more, just not as obvious there. 
The flooring here, we can make this also a bit of a red because you want it kind of be contrasting towards the thing. That looks all right. All right, there we go. We've now got our lighting. We're then going to add some particle effects in. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and I'm going to make some smoke and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so now I'm back and I haven't actually added some smoke because it didn't actually look very good. So I'll add a flashlight here. Now if you want this flashlight, I'll leave a link in the description. It looks lovely with future lighting here. I've got, it's not very good mesh. You can kind of make your own if you want to make a better one. But yeah, here it is. I'm going to actually edit the spotlight here and make sure the brightness is quite a bit down because you want to make it a lot more eerie. And also the range also decrease a little bit, kind of more like that range. We, of course, we want to make this as eerie as possible now this is looking all right um we're gonna make sure we're gonna get this now and we're gonna drag this right into the starter pack here so we can just copy this and we're gonna put it in the starter pack um just put it into here like that and we're just gonna get rid of the ones in the workspace uh actually i'm gonna keep one here just for reference i'm actually gonna go ahead and decrease the brightness down quite a bit so it kind of looks a bit more demonic if you get me um probably decrease this a bit more that will give it a bit more of an edge there we go that is the kind of look we're looking for okay so now what we're going to do is we're actually going to get all these parts here and we're going to anchor them so grab this one this one this one and this one i'm going to group it make sure they're anchored which they are and we're actually going to duplicate this at this one i'm going to make it another long one just after just like that i think that's on there okay, okay there we go so we now got a long corridor which i kind of want the effect to be now, on this course, when the player goes through the corridor, what I want to happen is I want them to be in first person. So what we're going to be using today is something called Realism. Now, Realism is open source and made by Maximum ADHD here. Now, what he did is this is a really, really useful thing that allows you to look around. An effect you might see in Jailbreak or Mad City kind of thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and press this thing here and press the download zip file just like this. And then with the zip file, we're going to open it up get the rbxm file and drag it into studio okay guys upon dragging it in you'll get this little folder here you want to open this the server here will go into server script servers uh i think my dragging is broken okay no it's not then realism client will go into the starter per character scripts just like this just like that and there we go realism is now set up we can now delete this folder and yeah let's actually go ahead and go to the players um and chain no, players i think it's camera yep and the camera type to uh, not type sorry where is it okay head over to the starter player and we're going to change the camera mode here to lock first person now let's actually just add a little spawn point in here and we'll actually test this out let me just put one where I did that spawn there we're going to grab this guy put that there and let's actually test this and see how well it works okay guys so here we are and look how nice this is looking already this is looking highly realistic and as you see you can listen to the footsteps this is looking really, really cool. So, look at this. The textures look lovely. The corridor is looking really nice, sounding amazing. Um, the torch looks very nice. The hand, everything here is working very nicely. So, you can click, and of course, nothing will happen because I haven't scripted anything there yet. Oops. But yeah, everything here is looking great. Now, let's actually move over to the monster and the jump scare. Okay guys, to collect my monster little kit, what you want to do is head to the description, head over into my Discord server, and go ahead and just download it. It's in the resources panel. If you don't have Discord, just ask me either on Twitter or message me on Roblox, and I'll try and send you send you the file over on there, because, you know, I know some of you don't. So yeah, we're well, going to get this little file here, and inside this monster here, you see it's Crowd's monster. We have the animate script, which is just a default uh, humanoid animation script, which is used in any humanoid. Health here, it pretty much makes sure that health regens um, in game. Here, we have the script for, you know, the finding of the player and the killing. So let's here is finding the distance, and it uses maths here and magnitude to find and locate the person, and then here, it's going to actually move to the position and the target. Um, in here we have a sound script, so it actually makes a noise, um, the moans I've made here, well, I haven't really made them, I found them on the toolbox here in the head, you can change these little noises if you feel like it, but yeah, right now this is a killer, so what this will do is it's available to customise, so the best thing to do to customise what I recommend doing is I'm going to get a duplicate this crab's torch, put it into the workspace here, and we're going to look at the monster so we can kind of see what it will look like when we're playing, so already this is looking a bit, I don't know, we know, it's pretty dry, pretty boring, and I want to make it as scary as possible. So what I'm going to do is one good thing to do is make sure that the body parts here, I'm going to get, grab all of these, and I'm going to probably make them a good material. So 
Some some people use glass for their monsters for some reason. I'm not sure why, but I like to use where is it slate because slate looks really kind of evil and bad. And then I'm gonna go ahead into the head here, and we're gonna add some particle effects to try and add a bit more. So okay, what's happening here? Right head. I'm gonna add some particle effects. Okay, put add a particle emitter here. Uh, where is the particle emitter here? I'm gonna actually make this color of this. I don't know black. Uh, no red. Something like red. Um, we're then gonna make sure this is going to be quite big, so we can use this thing here, which actually allows you to change size, etc. Of the thing, then we kind of go like that. We're then going to change the transparency. Actually, no, we're not. We're going to now find some images. So, if you go to the toolbox here, head over to images, oh, whoops, images, and go to, um, I'm just going to go to blood. I'm have blood coming out of his face, which is going to be quite interesting. I don't know, it's not really the best, most original idea, but still, it's going to be all right. All right, let's grab some of mm, this. This one looks alright, I'm going to copy the asset ID here, I'm going to paste this into there. Right, that looks very nice, I'm now going to bring this, make sure it's a bit, a lot smaller actually, this is very, very big for some reason. Alright, that's a bit better, I'm also going to have, yeah, just like that. That looks very nice, I'm now going to grab some of these, and I'm going to put it other parts of the body, like the upper torso, just in there. So then we can get this kind of really weird, sort of burning out monster thingy. Alright, so there's our kind of monster. I'm actually going to improve this a bit more and I'll get back to you. Okay, already this is looking pretty cool. And oh no! Ah! Oh, ah! Okay, ah! Alright. <laughs> that was pretty terrifying. As you can see, he is now absolutely petrifying. You can, ah! The noises are very loud and I kind of think you'd hear the noises because I have the background audio off. But still, this thing makes some pretty petrifying noises and looks amazing in game and that is that for this video thank you very much for watching this video i hope you enjoyed uh please remember to be subscribed to the channel as it does only take a second make sure you join my discord server follow me on twitter and yeah thank you very much for watching i hope to see you guys soon and yeah hope to see your horror games as well so <laughs> goodbye mm -hmm.